What's going on guys? Alex here with that one for ADC and today I have a little unboxing to do for you guys. Um, this is coming in from Brian over at Blue Creek Knives and I believe it is two Rosecraft blade um, knives for me to check out and review for the channel. Um, I don't exactly know what the two models are. Brian just messaged me on Instagram a couple days ago um, and asked if I would like to check out some of Rosecraft, Rosecraft blades um, which is a newer budget brand which is i believe they are made by um cjrb and i've been noticing you know seeing them on instagram and uh, different youtubers pages and stuff like that like big red edc jb over there had some on uh casey over at knives fast i think had some on probably from blue creek knives um because they were also affiliates of it so i was talking to uh, brian and i was like yeah i'd love to check some out um some of the models intrigued me and i was like whatever you want to send send uh and he got back to me said he sent some my way and he on i asked him which ones he sent me and he actually he was like um he said he had been so busy you know doing orders and uh, just had a very busy day he honestly couldn't remember the two that he tossed in the box for me so i'm gonna break into these guys the unboxing knife is the warncliffe pm2 um cutlery shop exclusive xhp you guys saw me get in last week i like the knife so far but I don't love it yet. Um, it's still growing on me. There's a lot of aspects that I like about it, such as the ergonomic department and everything like that. It just might be a little bit too big for me. Uh, I'm so used to my pair of three, but I do think I wanna get some scales for it and at least give it a chance and give it you know, a new clip and stuff like that before I make a decision on it. Um, but I, the blade shape is beautiful. I really do like that. So I'm gonna open it up with that. And I'm filming this on Monday, um, August 29th. It was a long, hot Monday for me on the roof, doing some roofing. Um, so I got home, took a shower, and I knew I had this to unbox. So I do want to crack my after work beverage. Nice Dr. Pepper. I've tried to like not, this is a side topic from knives, but uh, I'm tr I've tried to kind of cut back on pop and to, you know, not drink it as much, but guys, Dr. Pepper is just my kryptonite. It is so good and it hits the spot just so many times. Um, I just, it's really my favorite drink, you know, favorite soda, I should say. Uh, you know, just very, very good. If you guys drink Dr. Pepper, you know, but the box is opened here. I've got some paper. Not that you guys care about paper. There are two knives in here. So I have the Black Pocket Monster, which was one of the ones that kind of um, stuck out to me a little bit more than the other ones. And then I have a Jade Alenta right here, I think. Alenta? Alenta. And then I have some swag here. Oh man, I have an absolute shit ton of stickers. Brian sent a lot. All right, so let's see what we have here. This is cleaned up. So we have a lot of the um, Blue Creek Knives sort of monkey, or sorry, not monkey, uh, skeleton astronaut sticker. Got a lot of those. Got the Blue Creek Knives sticker, his uh, just very simple logo, which I really like a lot. What's up, Lucy? My dog just brought her toy in. Did you bring your ring in, huh? What's up? You want to film a video with me? But Blue Creek Knives, a lot of stickers, guys. More of the skeleton, more of the... I'll have to get an envelope or a, a little baggie to keep these in. And then I have some big uh, Rosecraft Blades. So the world debut of Rosecraft Blades Blade Show Atlanta 2022. Um, so that must have been a sticker they had there at Blade Show, which is really cool. I believe that model is the little chunk, I think is what they're calling it. So I have two of those. More Blue Creek Knives stickers. Ooh. Brian, you sent an overload, my friend. It's good to have. And then a couple Rosecraft Blades um, jet tags, Flip that down. And then back here, I believe this is all the designers. Uh, the only one that I know is Swags because she designed the Pocket Monster uh, and you guys are familiar with her for her design 
um, of the uh, Malia and more Malia. And also I think she designed the Kaiser Swayback, I believe, the button lock. Um, so that's cool that they kind of have those uh, designer logos on there. Don't know what the other ones are though, if I'm being honest. So I have two of those. So I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with these or not, or as of right now. Um, they could stay in the personal collection. They could be a giveaway. Um, I could just end up, you know, donating them, not donating them, but giving them to like some buddies that need a knife. I, I haven't decided yet. So we are going to break into the pocket monster first. Again, this is a black one. And like I said, these are made by, from what I can tell, CGRB because they are using um, AR RPM9 steel, which is a uh, proprietary steel for CGRB. Take this off there. So you have the Rosecraft Stay Sharp or be sharp, stay sharp. Um, Rosecraftblades.com. Whole thing around it. Right, let's open her up. Comes in a little baggie here. And from what I can remember, there are three different variations of the Pocket Monster right now. Um, the one I have is the black and orange. They also have, I believe, a Sully edition from Monsters Inc. It's uh, blue with like pink accents. And then they also have a red with black accents. So, I mean, you guys, if, if you're familiar with Swag's work, because this is, like I said, a Swag's design, you can already tell right away how uh, it's very familiar to you guys with the studs and the front flipper kind of, I mean, it, it looks very, like if you just throw the top half of the knife, it's identical to, um, not identical, but practically identical to the uh, Malia and the more Malia. Looks to be dead centered. You have a loop over style deep carry clip that is a little bit intriguing. Looks kind of fat. Looks like a bottle opener almost. Um, I like those orange accents a lot. Those kind of pop off. A uh, little G10 backspacer. And here is the action. A little snappy. I don't know what this thing on the blade is. I'll take that off, but there you have swags. Uh, RCM002. So this is maybe is the Rosecraft Monster number two, like the second version of this color of the monster. I'm not sure. And this is Rosecraft. It doesn't have the steel on it, but like I said, I believe it is AR RPM9. It is a liner lock. You have a little bit of a cut out there. See how it drops decently well. Finger flick, front flip. Yeah, it's, it's pretty fidget friendly right off the bat. Um, I'm enjoying, you know, having multiple ways to deploy this knife. Check for any blade play. I heard someone coming up my driveway. Oh, there's a little bit of blade play, not a ton though. Now in hand, I'm. it looks a little bit different because you have a lot of handle and just such a little blade. I mean, it's meant to be choked up on and it's very comfortable. Like this is stupid comfortable. You just kind of land right here. You have a little bit of jimping, but then you have such a small blade. I honestly need to look up to see how, um, how big this blade is before I do the full review on this knife. But like, you're really gonna be, I mean, this knife is perfect for doing precise cuts, um, really choking up and being able to uh, be careful with what you're doing and be careful with what you're cutting. But it's, you know, it's pretty good right out of the box action wise. Uh, they should have bearings. Yep, they are bearings. And CGRB is a pretty good budget brand, so. The detent is, it's okay. It's not, I mean, it's a little bit on the lighter side. It's a little bit gritty, so I could definitely, um, some KPL would definitely spice this up, I think. But um, the pot clip is reversible right off the bat, I noticed, so that's good. So yeah, this is, a, this is a cool knife, guys. Um, I wish it was a little bit bigger. I have never handled the Malia or the more Malia. Um, it's always been something I've kind of wanted to check out. I just never got on the bandwagon. I never, you know, pulled the trigger to pick one up. So that's my fault, but uh, this is very similar to it. Just a little bit smaller. And this is the Pocket Monster. So really cool. Definitely a unique blade. Um, yeah, I'll have to get to that in pocket and uh, check it out. So that is the pocket monster. All right, second up is the Jade Alenta. 
get these clips off of here. All right. Don't want to take up too much more time. We're already at 10, a little over 10 minutes. So again, comes in the bag. And like I said, this is Jade G10. You can see it has a flipper, thumb studs, um, a loop over style deep carry clip. It doesn't go to the butt end of the knife. I really, right off the bat, kind of um, aesthetic wise, I wish they maybe would have put it and useful wise, put it towards the top a little more to take a little bit of that point away when it's in pocket because you're going to get that sticking out. Reversible, uh, rose craft on the blade, try the flipper. Not too bad. Um, so this S must be the designer of the knife. I will have to check on that before I do my full review. Um, it says China right there, just to clarify that these are made in China. And then you have RCM 004. So the RCM 002 on, so RCM doesn't stand for Rosecraft Monster, um, Rosecraft something. And then the numbers stand for something. I'm not 100% sure. But you do have blacked out liners. It's a liner lock. Standoffs in the back here. You have some pretty good access to the liner lock right there. That flipper tab hits your nail. Try a little bit lower. Decent action. Very snappy detent with the uh, thumb studs. We'll check with middle finger. Not too bad. A little bit of blade play. So I'll have to tighten that up a little bit. But... Honestly, this knife with the jade, because I had it, uh, of course, this has the uh, satin with the black wash, or uh, excuse me, DLC blade, so it has the combination of it. Um, but right off the bat, this reminds me of the CJRB Feldsbar that I had from, because I almost dropped the knife, that I had from Blade HQ. It was a Blade HQ exclusive with JG10 and a DLC S35 VM blade. Um, this is giving me that type of vibes uh, quite a bit because it had almost the same type of lock bar and lock bar cutout. So yeah, this is a definitely a, an interesting knife. Um, it has a little bit of an upswept blade. Ergonomically, nice and comfortable. You can kind of choke up here if, you, if you're careful, um, if you're gonna be doing something really precise, but you definitely wouldn't be up here, you know, doing hard things or anything like that. It's definitely more of a um, choke back knife, but still nice and nice and ergonomically friendly, so. Hey guys, this is the Alenta. So I will of course be doing a uh, full review on both of these knives. Um, give it a couple weeks, let me carry them. Uh, you know, see what I like about them and whatnot. So thank you, da or David. Thank you, Brian, for sending me out these knives. Um, really do appreciate it. And I, like I said, I'm going to carry them, get to know them a little bit better, so I can give you guys a, uh, you know, my full thoughts and opinions on the knife, knives. Excuse me. But yeah. So these, of course, came from Blue Creek Knives. Guys, use my code 8148DC if you are looking to pick up anything from the website. He is getting new stuff in, seems like, weekly. Uh, Brian seems like a very busy guy, and the website is always worth checking out. So the link to, uh, I will leave links to both of these knives in the description down below, as well as, well, the links for these knives will get you to uh, Blue Creek's website. And then if you decide to purchase anything, again, 8148DC will get you 10% off. Um, yeah, so there's something else I was going to say, but I forgot. Oh, speaking of Blue Creek, I have a Blue Creek uh, giveaway running. It was my last video posted, so if you guys are interested in that, maybe I can try to figure out how to put a card up in the corner here. Um, it'll take you to it, but it is on uh, running for another week or so. Uh, you, or not, not a week, six days, excuse me. Uh, so go check that out if you're interested in entering. You can see the rules and everything over there watch that video and yeah guys i'm going to quit rambling and raving and stuttering over my words but again huge shout out to brian over at blue creek knives i appreciate it and uh yeah we're gonna check out this budget brand new budget brand to the knife world rosecraft blades got the alenta and i got the pocket monster so keep a lookout for my reviews on that guys but that'll be all for today um, i greatly appreciate each and every one of you i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace